a misconception number 36 is that um, a lot of uh, people think that Judaism look at the women in a very um, low level of impurity uh, because uh, especially when she's uh, Nida, uh, which means she has her periods, then um, we 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 try to disconnect from her because she's impure um, or in a state of of uh, separation. So what what does that really mean? Uh, where does that come from? First of all, a, a woman is far from being more impure than men, and in Judaism, the concept of impurity only has to do with the level of holiness that you have. The more you are holy, the more when you um, are not connected to your potential of holiness, uh, the more you become unholy. So, to, so what does that mean? That means, let's take the example of a body. If you have a body, um, well, actually before that, there are many different levels of impurities. Uh, a dead animal and, um, you know, all, all different and then the dead body of a human being, all different types of things that can make us impure. And the highest level of impurity is the, the, a human being that is dead. Why is that so? Is because the body of a human being is the place where you have the most holy thing in the world. What is it? Um, a soul, a piece of God. Since this is the place that is the most holy, when that holiness is removed from, from the body, the body becomes the most impure thing in the world is that that it creates a vacuum and that vacuum is replaced so to speak with emptiness with unholiness so now this is going to help us understand very well why actually a woman is technically more pure than men um, and why she goes in a state of impurity so to speak that appear to be uh, or more impurity uh, high impurity than men is because when a woman has in her the potential for life, um, the potential that a man doesn't have. She has the womb and she's able to bring down a soul, to download from heaven a soul and make it grow in her. So what that means is that when, when she, uh, a woman has her periods and she loses, so to speak, the potential for life, then because she had that potential in, in her, she um, she's not... Um, she, she, it is a vacuum that is created and she becomes, so to speak, impure. So now it helps us understand better what impurity is. Impurity is, uh, so to speak, a moment where we lack uh, the potential, we lost the potential for holiness and, and life, and therefore it, that, that's, that's the state that we found ourselves in. Um, so really, the fact that women find themselves, so to speak, more impure during those times of periods only shows that she is much more uh, pure than men, much more holy than men, because she had that tremendous potential for giving birth and holiness. A man also uh, has a certain things similar, but it's not as powerful as the, as the woman. A man has a seed uh, that he can uh, give life with, um, and also when a man uh, um, has a seed coming out of him, um, he go he reach a stage of uh, also impurity, um, and uh, so therefore he also has uh, there's 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 a, there's, a, there's a sin of wasting seed in Judaism. So when one waste seed, also one achieve a level of of uh, impurity, um, and so therefore it's not just the woman. Uh, it's just the woman is more powerful because she carries in her the the baby, um, and the woman interestingly just like the man, uh, they I mean the men just like the woman both need to go to the mikvah ideally a man needs to go to the mikvah actually men used to go every day because potential waste of seed during the night or any or during the day and the woman she goes only once a month uh, when after her periods are finished so now helps us understand better what. Um, uh, a, a, pu a purity and impurity is uh, a woman and a man. Uh, it's not that the one is more impure than the other. It's just the potential of one is higher than the other. And really, the woman is really more often uh, more uh, holy and pure because she has more potential in her than the man. And when she's impure, it only shows uh, how great she is compared uh, to the man.